With no end to Russia's war against Ukraine in sight, I asked Full Frontal's favorite Russia spurt, Masha Gessen, for their take on where this all goes. Over three months have passed since Russian dictator and object of conservative jerk-off fantasies Vladimir Putin launched his murderous invasion of democratic Ukraine. Thousands of civilians have died and millions are now refugees. To help make sense of this senseless tragedy, I turn to Masha Gessen, Russian dissident and author, longtime friend of the show, and eternal optimist. Oh, my biggest worry is a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> okay, but in the midst of all the current misery, we took a moment to celebrate an important milestone. This is your fifth appearance on Full Frontal. Ah! Graphics, 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 confetti cannons, music stings, graphics, graphics, graphics. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <laughs> then, after a brief pause for the traditional presentation of the commemorative blazer, just perfect. We set about our favorite pastime: doom chatting. All right. Thank you. Let's get into it. Um, how do you see this ending? If you were predicting, and you're so good at predicting. This is your your lead up to my regular nuclear holocaust prediction. Listen, yeah. this is. We've been talking about the nuclear holocaust from the first time we met. It's like our song. Oh, my biggest worry is a nuclear holocaust. Oh, yeah. Does Putin still have the support of everyday Russians? I mean, it's a tricky thing to talk about in mm -hmm. a totalitarian society. Right. It's not just that people are afraid of repression. It's that they're afraid of just the unbearable feeling of disagreeing with that enormous force. Okay. What is the state of Russian television right now? Do they ever show Full Frontal? I mean, I don't care. It's fine. They don't have to, but just do they ever? No. Okay, great. You turn on the TV and it's all we all the time, like on the main Russian state channel, and it's a bunch of middle-aged men talking about turning the world to dust. Okay. They love this Putin quote that they repeat almost on every show, which is in 2018, Putin was talking about the, the possibility of a nuclear strike. And he was asked, but it will destroy the world. And he's like, yeah, but... We will go straight to heaven and they'll just croak. Is the West doing the right thing in Ukraine? It's doing some of the right things, but they should have started with what is the actual lifeblood of the regime, which is oil. To cripple Russia's war machine, says Masha, European countries have to move faster to wean themselves from Putin's oily teats. It is hard to live without Russian oil and gas. It's definitely not as hard as dying. Definitely not. But what about these sanctions we keep hearing about? Couldn't they cause a popular uprising? There's no credible scenario for mass protests in Russia that topple the regime. There's really not even a credible scenario for a palace coup in Russia. Unfortunately, the best bet to best Putin might be basic biology. What if Putin dies? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Ah, oh, why can't he be one of those guys who wants to take like a penis-shaped rocket into space? <laughs> I just don't want him to do the coming back part. Well, I don't actually think that Russia can survive Putin's death. What I really hope for is that, like, we will see a total breakup of the empire. Mm. And, you know, we'll see the state of Moscovy and the state of St. Petersburg. Which one of those might take Tucker Carlson? I think we might be stuck with him. No! Meanwhile, people are dying in Ukraine, and nearly four million Russians have fled their own country. In a recent article, Masha described the stunned expression shared by those refugees with a Russian saying, Hit in the face with a dusty sack. Hit on the head with a dusty sack. Hit on yeah. the head with a dusty sack. Isn't okay. that a great expression? It is a really great expression. I wonder if you could translate a few of these expressions into Russian for us. Um, <laughs> thumped in the poutine with a hockey puck. I think I will, I will, I will go again with the Pilnimishkom Poglavia Grete. Smacked in the snatch with a bag of jacks. Yeah, Pilnimishkom Poglavia Grete. Thwacked in the jablonkis with a custard spoon. <laughs> All of these representative of our current state of mind. Yes. So is all hope lost? First of all, I think that hope is a moral imperative. Okay. I mean, things are horrible. Yes. And it is entirely possible that it will end in a nuclear holocaust. If that doesn't happen, this is definitely the last chapter of the Putin regime. I'm not saying it's going to end tomorrow, but whatever happens next is going to be completely different. And that gives me a little bit of hope. So it's either... Or something completely different. 
Right. And that feels like hope right now. We take what we can get. (laughs) 